Welcome back, everybody. The History Guy here, and I'm ready to play episode three in my very first time playing through a series on Rule the Waves 2. Uh, this is version 1.10 of the series. I believe episode 1 I was playing on the original version, but I did update before episode 2. If you did not see the first two episodes of this series, you can click on a link in the description below. that will take you back to episode 1. I also have links in the description for... Uh, my uh, Patreon page, as well as my Discord server. And I would encourage you to take a look at both of those and join if you wish. I'll talk a little bit about Patreon as we go, because you'll see some names on some of my ships that have been inspired by some of the supporters on Patreon. Also, the best thing you can possibly do to support this channel is anytime you see one of these videos, if you would hit that like button and then watch as much of the video as possible. Those two things really kind of tell YouTube to recommend this video and this channel more often. That said, let's take a look at the situation. We are in August of 1902. We're almost three years into the game now. Uh, we are at war with Britain. It's been pretty even, but pretty slow thus far. We're going to see if we can ramp things up a little bit and kind of find ourselves getting involved in a major battle where we can do some serious damage to his fleet. Uh, looking at the Almanac, you can see that right now we are the two uh, highest naval budgets. Now, part of that is obviously because we're at war, which ramps up the budget, but also I have had a pretty good budget all the way along. I am allied with the U.S., though I'm not entirely sure how much they're involved in fighting against the British. But you can see the situation. Uh, we're pretty even and kind of keeping up with the British as far as uh, the fleet goes. I've got ships in construction, but it's going to be a while before we see any of those. Uh, now, there are a couple of things that I want to look at here. Uh, the ships in service, for example. Uh, I've got this armored cruiser that's uh, over in the Indian Ocean, and I want to bring them home. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, get that ship moved. So I'll deal with that in just a minute. Get that back closer to home. We'll send some different uh, ships instead to work on uh, doing things like trade protection and commerce rating. Uh, but otherwise, I think we're just going to kind of start playing through and see what happens. Well, as I mentioned, uh, some of the names you're going to start to see come up uh, have been inspired by patrons. And uh, Andrew Snodgrass, who is one of the supporters and listed in all of the videos as a sponsor of this channel, uh, has requested that I name a ship the Bouvet. Now, to understand the reason for that name, you had to have seen a, an earlier video I did on Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where uh, I fought a battle and I had this battleship called the Bouvet that just took a pummeling and refused to sink for the longest time and he just requested that his ship on this game would be named in honor of that ship so we've uh, gone ahead and updated the name of one of my Braunschweig uh, battleships uh, pre-dreadnought battleships that's under construction uh, that ship will not be available for another 25 months but I've gone ahead and ordered the uh, the Hertha which is a Victoria Louise class armored cruiser uh, to start moving toward Northern Europe. Now, I apologize in advance for any of the background noise that you hear. Um, I am in Northern Alabama, uh, in the town of Arab, Alabama today, where I'm speaking at some schools over the next couple of days, and my hotel is super close to the road. Unfortunately, a lot of uh, noise of uh, the traffic, so not a lot I can do about that, but we will press on. All right, I've got to, um, I've got to go ahead and assign another, uh, we'll just assign another destroyer as trade protection to get up to our requisite seven ships for that purpose uh so we're still kind of just at status quo for the time being so we're going to take another turn and see what happens we finished our 11 inch coastal battery in germany we've received an offer for peace from the enemy but the conditions are rather harsh the Ka harsh the kaiser is asking for advice That'll hurt my prestige, which I'm not going to allow to happen. So let's see what that does to prestige. It was at 21. We're going to keep fighting on, even though the victory points are not really in our favor at the moment. British Navy declined battle. We're going to keep on doing this until we can score a dec decisive blow on him. That's too straight that he's declined. This one will uh, be a big one if he declines, so I highly doubt that he will. Yeah, this one's going to be off the coast of Holland, it looks like. Uh, so this could be another chance for a big battle. Let's take a look and see what we've got. It's basically the same fleet that we had before. Uh, and I would guess we're probably up against the same fleet as we saw before. All right, so right off the bat, we are uh, making contact. And we've got a superstructure hit on the Gazelle. 
We've got a hit on our uh, armored cruiser Victoria Louise, so there's a lot happening. We're going to force a decisive engagement here. One way or the other, somebody's going to start moving toward victory in this war that just seems to drag on. I'm coming right across these guys. I want to pa pause for just a second because I want to kind of micromanage this just a little bit. I feel like we've got a great opportunity right here. Uh, this Andromeda-class battleship, this Rodney-class battleship, we're coming right across the front of them. And I feel like this might be the opportunity we've been looking for. That Gazelle has reduced speed because of heavy damage. We've got medium damage on the Rodney. Now, how close are we to these guys? We're Man, we're at 1,600 yards on the Rodney. So if we wanted something close, we've certainly got it now, don't we? Here's the Gazelle. She's at 96%. We just about got that one sunk now. I don't know who hit it, but I'm liking it. Oh, no, that's my ship. <laughs> I'm not liking that. Why do I have a ship called the Gazelle? I don't remember that one at all. So we're going to lose that light cruiser, it looks like. I guess that's probably who his battleships were targeting. Hopefully we can get that gazelle out of there. We've got him kind of in the center of our little circle here. Let's see if we can nail him. I'm going to pursue this Andromeda until we can take it out. I'm going to pause for a second and see where we're at. Medium damage. Okay, let's come right up alongside of it. See if we can land some decisive blows. Because it looks like it must have lost control or something. Because it's way off target from the rest of the fleet. Let's sink that bad boy. We've got to be able to take this thing out. Where's it at? Still oh, light damage. Man, battleships are hard to take out, that's for sure. Let's keep it around where all our ships are. I'm, unfortunately, I'm allowing it to get back up to where the Rodney are, the Rodney is. Let's see where we're at now. Still, just light damage. I've got my whole fleet pursuing this thing. I want to look at the status just for a second of my battleships. We've got a little bit of damage on two of them. But nothing too concerning. What's concerning to me is how little damage I'm causing to the Andromeda. And that's probably to do, do with the size of my guns. I just don't have a big enough gun to really nail this thing well. But if we get close enough, I would imagine that even the Andromeda is not going to be able to survive. On fire. That's some good news. We're nice and close now. Of course, we're also close enough for Andromeda to fire back. Man, I'm down to 50% on my ammo already. Heavy damage on fire. Let's sink this thing. Come on. If I can take out one battleship and get out of here with all of mine in intact, I I'll call that a win. I feel like we've got Andromeda and we can't let it slip away at this point. Come on, guys. I'm going to slip right in here between the, the Rodney and the Andromeda. Finish him. Finish her. I know. Looks like it's not even moving at this point. It's got to be almost down. Come on. 
I'm just going to circle you until you're finished. Can this be the killing blow? Come on. Man, we're landing hit after hit on this thing. Just going to keep circling. Look at all those hits. Oh, that gazelle finally may be on its last legs. But I'll trade a light cruiser for a battleship any day of the week. Hit by a torpedo. That's some good news. She does not want to die. That tells you the weakness of my guns that I've landed this many hits and haven't been able to finish the Andromeda off. That's got to change. We've got to get some bigger guns. There it is. We sunk ourselves a British battleship. I feel like that's a win. And I feel like that's enough to say it's time to get out of here. With the rest of my fleet intact. We do have, oh, we have one Rodney class down here by its lonesome self. But it looks like we're going to let them get away. I don't think we're going to pursue that any further. There you have it. We've got our first major victory at sea. Uh, we sank not only a battleship, but a light cruiser and a destroyer. Did heavy damage to two other cruisers, or two other destroyers. Did light damage to his other battleship. Uh, all at the cost of one light cruiser on my side. Definitely a great victory. Uh, that's going to start to turn the tide on things significantly. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Uh, obviously, if I have bigger guns, that'll only improve, but we are definitely going to call that a win, and that's a tide turner. That's a 2,900 victory points to 800 for the enemy, and that actually gives me the lead now in this war, and we have a chance to name it, and that's uh, going to be the, the Battle of Vliland which I guess it sounds like it's a Dutch name. It was off the coast of the Netherlands. So very cool when you have those significant battles like that. And I'm excited about that. I'm very excited about what that means moving forward. Let's go ahead and look at the new landscape on the Almanac. Uh, obviously that gave us some, well, we've got prestige points that may have been from continuing the war when I was told to kind of sue for peace. But now he's down to just three battleships in service with three more on the way. Uh, that only gives him a combined total of six, which can't compare to my seven. Now, granted, they're more powerful than mine, but still, good things. Uh, I'm down to just two light cruisers. He's got eight. I've got three more on the way, but uh, good things, good things. Here we go. The Army wants more resources to prepare for an offensive that will shift the strategic initiative. The Kaiser is asking for your opinion. Oh, boy. Um, obviously, I would like to have the resources but i'm going to go ahead and say yes we'll take less resources for a limited time if that's going to help turn the tide i don't know how the german army is going to deal with the british since they're on an island but uh, if i can get the upper hand with the navy then we, maybe we'll be okay all right we've got another chance here i'm guessing he's going to decline this one no no battleships on the scene for this one uh, for him anyway I've got my full fleet that I've been fighting with. This could be a chance to really cripple him. Um, we're going up against some armored cruisers at best for the British. So let's see what happens here. So this particular mission, we actually have a mission. Our objective is to bombard a target, which is uh, over he in here somewhere. It's not showing up now, but it was. Uh, we have, however, spotted a couple of ships. And so we're going to start making our way toward that. See if we can take out a couple of these ships because we know he doesn't have any battleships in the area. If I can take them out and then probably still get to my target, we might be in good shape. I'd really... Oh, is that a battleship? I didn't think he had any. I guess we're wrong. Two battleships. Okay. So our usual fleet uh, is going to go up against, it looks like, his main force of battleships. A couple of armored cruisers. Some light cruisers. 
to Rodney class. So I think it's pretty well the same fleet that we faced before, maybe with a few additions. And we're going to go straight at him. Let's make sure we're at cruise speed. We are. We're almost in range. I'm actually going to... Let me pause for a second. I'm going to come in behind him and come and try to go at some of these support ships first, if I can. Oh, we got this Canada class kind of cornered here. Let's see if we can nail it. I know we're targeting his battleships right now, and that makes sense to do so. But when I've got a light cruiser sitting so close to me here, I feel like, oh, it's already got medium damage too. I feel like I've got to target that thing and take it out. 2,100 yards away. Let's go for that one. So I'm going to go, go ahead and start turning here. Let's slow things down a little bit. Uh, Canada class is going to get away now. So we're probably going to have to go back to targeting the Rodney. Which we are. Alright, once again we go up against these really good British battleships. But I'm trying to force another decisive engagement here. But in this case we're actually supposed to be bombarding a target on the coast, which I'm sure is probably to help prepare for the invasion, but I'm not seeing that target now. So I guess for now we just go after the fleet. His battleships are kind of separated from each other at the moment. I feel like that might be good news for me. Although they are still both pretty well in range for my ships. I think we've hit this Rodney a couple of times. I want to pause for just a second and see what's going on here. Uh, maybe not. Light damage on the rear one. No damage so far for me. That's good. We took a hit on our armored cruiser. She's at 27%. All right, let's pause because I, I am taking some damage now. Nothing significant. Actually, going to try to get in behind him. Because his two Rodneys are so far away, at least I can get one of them out of range a little bit. Maybe just deal with one for a little bit. Kind of even the odds somewhat in my favor. Now we can score some hits. The other one's way back there. I've got to get that cruiser division 7 up here. Let me go ahead and check out my orders. Okay, it had scout orders, so it was kind of off doing its own thing. I want to get, get that cruiser division down here closer, so... It's still kind of just doing its own thing. All right. Now it's doing independent, so I don't know what's going on with that. I want you to be a part of things, please. In the meantime, let's look at our status on our battleships here. All right, so we got a lot of damage to the Mecklenburg. We've got to be careful here. It might be time to just maybe disengage, although I'm going to fail my mission and that's going to even the odds once again. And I was just starting to make progress in this war. So i got to be careful that I don't disengage too early. Where on earth is that armored cruiser and why is it just kind of out there doing its own thing?
probably going to have to give it its own orders. I'm also thinking I might send these destroyers in, see if we can make a torpedo run and maybe sacrifice a destroyer or two to really do something. What destroyer flotilla is that? That's destroyer division six. Okay. We're going to go ahead and take that off of AI control. We're going to make it independent. We're going to have them go max speed, at least for the time being. And I'm going to have them try to get in here for a run on the torpedoes. I don't know if we can squeeze them in between my battleships or not. This might end badly. Uh, I guess they, that worked okay. Alright, I'm going to try to run them right up alongside the Rodney. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but we're giving it a try. He might have gotten away. I don't know. Yeah, still light damage. I think we're probably going to have to... Oh, we've got heavy damage on this other Rodney class. Man, I really need to pursue this. I've got a chance here to really finish him off. So the nice thing is that having these destroyers here has kind of drawn the fire of his battleships off of my battleships. He seems to be focusing instead on my destroyers. Now, I am getting low on ammo, so I've got to be careful of that. But I've got a chance here, and I want to take advantage of it. We're going to come in right in between these two Rodney class ships. Let's see if we can nail them. I'm going to get super close to this one, but I'm hoping I can torpedo him. We're going to take some hits. We're probably going to lose a few. I'm going to go ahead and pause real quick, and I'm going to I'm going to issue AI orders to this destroyer division so I can quit micromanaging them for a little bit. And then we're going to get back to focusing on controlling my battleships, which are taking some damage. But again, got a real chance here to really mess up the British Navy if I can take out both of these battleships. Or even one of them, because I've already taken one. Come on. This isn't even the mission, so I've got to be careful of that. My mission is to bombard targets on the shore, but I feel like that'll be excused if I take out a battleship. And that'll open me up to finish such missions later which mu with much more ease. I love that he's keeping these Rodney class ships so far apart, and I think I just did something to kind of mess up where I am. Let me get back to these guys. Whoa, that's why I'm zoomed in super far. Let's fix that a little bit. All right. 
this is the one we're after. It's at heavy damage again. So we've got a chance here. I know I keep saying that, but I'm feeling good. I just got to do what I did before with that Andromeda battleship. And I don't know which one's better. I don't know if there's a way to look that up. If I have access to my almanac while things are going on. But I'd love to see what I know about these Rodney class battleships. I don't know if that's something I can do or not. Maybe somebody can tell me. There we go. Right click. So it's got 9.5 inch belt armor. 2 inch deck. So it's got 13 inch guns. So I mean that's kind of the main difference between it and me. You can see mine do not have that. We've got nine inch guns which is why it's so much more difficult but I'm, I'm doing surprisingly well uh considering how much bigger i mean he's got guns that are significantly better than mine so the fact that i'm even going up against these battleships is a small miracle let alone that i'm actually having some success against them it looks like we might have just lost him in the dark all right i feel like we're gonna go ahead and Go back after the original target, and I don't know why on earth one of my task forces is way up there, but we're going to deal with that. They're probably on a scout mission. Okay, so uh, we lost contact with him in the night, but still manages to bring in another minor victory. Uh, we, did insist, we did sustain some medium damage to a destroyer, some light damage to a battleship and an armored cruiser, but also inflicted uh, some decent damage as well. Uh, in the process, we failed the mission, which was to destroy that bombardment ta target, but the ship loss differential kind of made up for that, and it all works out in the end. So let's see where things stand, and hopefully we can start seeing something shift in all of this. But I don't know how soon that will happen, if at all. Uh, so monthly balance is down right now, but that's not a big deal. Uh, spy from Japan has been discovered pretty low right now with uh, things with Japan. So we'll go ahead and, and take the budget increase for that. Looks like he got the better of me on the merchant ship sinking this time. Wow, that's a strange place for there to be a battle. Uh, declining, though, will give him some victory points I'm not inclined to give him. So uh, I'll fight that one, but I don't think we'll record that one because it's not really a huge deal. Oh, he declined anyway, even better. All right, five battleships in the area. Ah, man, I don't know. I feel like I want to get some bigger guns going on my ships, but uh, he declined the battle. Nothing happens. We're kind of seeing a lot of that right now. But we are going to go into another fight, another chance to take him out. So a lot of fighting going on in this one, uh, but that's because this war is getting to the decisive stages now. And again, the same fleet that we've had, but just fewer support ships this time around. So I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen. All right, so in this particular mission, we have four battleships for the first time of our five that we have total in our Navy. The, the goal, the objective in this mission, which will get me the major points that I want, 8,000 points, is to sink uh, two of these uh, merchant class vessels here. So... That shouldn't be all that difficult if I can get in at them the way that I want to. So we get in there and sink them, and then we worry about what we can do to the rest of the fleet. I'm going to go ahead and unlock view because I want to be able to see the movement a little better. So the nice thing is they're steaming right at me. In fact, I'm going to go up here to try to get in between these two long long rows of these things we might be able to sink way more than just two of them now they're starting to try to turn away but I'm nice and close now I ought to be able to take a couple of these things out with four battleships Now we'll go right in between these things. Oh, they're going to turn with me even better. Then we'll have our destroyers hopefully use their torpedoes. They can sink a few. Lots of hits happening now. Oh, yeah. 
we're going to sink more than two. I'm just going to go ahead and circle these ones. I'm not even worried about his, the rest of his navy right now. Maybe these destroyers will even get in there and get in on the action. Launch a few torpedoes. We'll go ahead and speed things up a little bit. There we go. There's one down. Just need one more to be able to successfully complete this mission. We got another one. Oh, we completed the objective. Excellent news. Another blow to the British Navy. Wow their battleships just kind of sit out here in the distance all oh, they're dealing with my destroyers okay i've got a destroyer division over there that's kind of trying to keep the rodney occupied so we're going to go up there and give some help to that now because we're taking some damage among our destroyers but that's okay i've got a lot of destroyers i probably could have just kept on going after those merchant class ships and sunk. Well, we sank quite a few already. I really want that Rodney though. I'm going to pause for a second. Yeah, you know what? Forget him. I know I'm kind of fickle with my decisions here, but I got to keep remembering that's a ship with 13 inch guns. I've got nine inch guns. Uh, so. Let's go ahead and try to take out a couple more of these merchant ships. We already took out a bunch of them. We've devastated his fleet. Let's stick to what works. Let's go after two more of these things and disengage and call it a nice victory. And maybe we push the British to the brink of losing this war so I can start building up my navy with some decent uh, weapons. All right, there we go. Yes, pick up the survivors. Yes to all. And I think that's about all we'll do on this one. Another major victory for the German Navy. Excellent news. Uh, so we can see there we had light damage to two destroyers, but we sank uh, eight of his merchant ships as well as another destroyer. It's a good day to be a part of the Kriegsmarine. Let's take a look and see where that leaves us now. We're pushing that victory point total up. We got a significant edge now. I've got to believe that things start shifting su uh, sufficiently for me. How many more do we need to have? I don't know. Let's go ahead and, and add another one uh, on foreign service. Oh, it's got to be a, a better ship than... Oh, no. I guess it can be one of those. Foreign station. All right. Uh, well, we've got to have 5,000 tons. That's because we brought home that heavy cruiser that was overseas so i'll go ahead and deal with that and then we'll see what happens okay the latest army offensive has been a complete success breaking through the front in places gained 1500 victory points man things are going really really well operations of our allies at another 80 victory points things are going great i'm feeling good about the direction of the war right now i'm not sure i want to get into another uh, battle so we'll decline this we'll let the enemy have his fun with his coastal raid but here is a potential for another major battle again i'm gonna say no because I'm, I'm just gonna let him have his points here uh because i want to see where things go if we allow this to kind of marinate a little bit i'm hoping that maybe some decisions happen that cause the war to kind of continue to tip in my favor uh, let's let's look at ships under construction. We're still 12 months away from these three new Hella light cruisers. I'm not sure how big a battleship I can get right now. What? How big are these ones? What are the guns on these things? I want to take a look at them for a second. Uh, they're going to have 11-inch guns. So for the first time, I'm going to have a little bit better. They also have 12-inch belt armor. Uh, so definitely a significant increase in what I've currently got in place. I feel like I want to do even more, but I just haven't had any major breakthroughs in research lately. Uh, the British raider uh, Europa has been interned in a neutral port due to lack of fuel. Oh, sorry about your luck, Great Britain. 
Too bad, so sad. Uh, okay, this might be a battle that I want to take on. I don't want to let the victory points get any closer, so we're going to fight one more and see what happens. This will probably be it for this particular episode because I feel like we've been doing a lot of fighting of battles and not a whole lot else happening. Wow, we don't even have any battleships in this one, do we? Okay, so this is just going to be some light cruisers. So we'll see if there's anything of note, but this may be one where I just kind of bide my time and look for opportunities without having to get too close to his battleships. So here's what we're dealing with. I've got my two uh, Victoria Louise class armored cruisers, which also have 9-inch guns, not unlike my battleships. Uh, we are facing off against a bigger force as far as the number of ships, but uh, the best he's got are some of these Canada class light cruisers. So I want to see what they've got. They've only got 6-inch guns with 1.5-inch belt armor. So I feel like this is an opportunity to get these heavy cruisers to maybe get in there and cause some damage. But I want to keep him at a little bit of a distance in this case because I don't want those destroyers to get in and to be able to use their torpedoes. So um, it's really just one light cruiser, two heavy cruisers, and one destroyer is what I've got going for me here. So not a big fleet by any means, but still something that could really cause some damage if I can get in at those light cruisers. So we'll go ahead and speed things up a little bit. As with all of this stuff, guys, I, I, I greatly value your input. Some of you are far more knowledgeable, uh, not only in this game, but in naval warfare of the time in general. Uh, so I'm sure there's plenty that you are seeing me do that is not ideal. Uh, and I welcome your constructive criticism. If you're just here to insult, that doesn't really help anybody. But if you can offer feedback on what I can do better... That is most welcome, and not only will help me, but it might be help might help other people who are checking out this game and maybe are new to it like I am. Uh, so I very much welcome that. Please use the comment section below for all of that feedback. It'll be greatly appreciated. Uh, any game I play on my channel, one of my primary reasons for doing so is uh, the interaction that I get to have with all of you uh, and what I learned from that. Uh, I've, I've become a much better gamer at some of these games because of the feedback that is offered. So definitely take advantage of that. I don't know what distance we're at right now. We're still at 6,900 yards, so going to have to get closer. In fact, we're going to go ahead and go to max speed, see if we can catch up to these guys. He's turning his destroyers around, so I want to be careful here. Maybe we can get into where we can be in range to hit the destroyers. These light cruisers, I'm probably not going to catch them. Well, they're only going 15 knots, so maybe I can. Because I'm going 21 right now. So we'll go ahead and speed things up a little bit until we catch up. Man. He's just not making it easy for me. Well, I've been pursuing him for a while, and I finally got him to commit to battle with me. I don't know how long it's going to last. Because it seems like every time they want to come in and actually engage, they start to pull away again. And the only way I ever seem to catch them is if I go at my max speed, which I know is not ideal for, it actually, for actually being able to fire on him. But it's the only way I can stay close enough to actually fire on him. Now we're getting into night, so we're going to lose them completely. I feel like that's probably going to be it for this battle. So that was a marginal victory for the British, primarily because uh, they did some damage to my light cruiser right off the bat when that mission first started before they kind of got out of dodge. I did medium damage to two of his destroyers, but that was about it. So I think we're going to call that an episode. We'll see where things stand with the war. In just a minute, we'll go ahead and go one more turn and see what happens. There we go. The enemy has sent out feelers through neutral stations about a negotiated peace without border changes or reparations. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that because I feel like if we push this, I naval uh, superiority is kind of in my favor, but the whole gun thing, not so much. Uh, so, ah, uh, boy, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. If I had bigger guns, I'd feel better. But maybe once I get those new, Brit uh, new battleships in the position, I'll feel different. Uh, no, do not let them off lightly. 
Peace negotiations derailed by the Hawk Party. Our scientists have trouble figuring out Periscope. That's fine. I'm not really going to focus on U-boats too much, at least not right now. All right, so we're going to wrap it up right there. And we'll come back in a couple of days, maybe even tomorrow with another episode. This is one of the only games I can record while I'm traveling, uh, just because my laptop allows for such things, whereas most games require a little more hardware than I have with me on the road. So let me know your thoughts. Like I said before, I know I've got a lot to learn, and I would love to learn it from all of you. So use the comment section below. Please drop a like. That will help tremendously. And we will see you again real soon. Thanks for watching.